When we play mountain courses, we find the use of fairway bunkers is very common in all the courses. We don't have the property of the land that we have down in the valleys to make a lot of straightaway holes, so you have a lot of dog legs in the mountains, and the, the fairway bunkers come in very handy as something to aim off, something to position your shots off the tee. This case here, we've got about 120 yards to the hole down here from this fairway bunker. Typically, out of the fairway, it'd be probably a pitching wedge. Since we're in the bunker, the idea is we want to hit the ball first. We want to hit a lower trajectory shot. It's going to naturally move left to right because we're hitting down on the ball. So in this case, instead of the pitching wedge that I'd use from the fairway, I'm going to take a nine iron. I'm going to take one more club. I'm going to play it back in my stance because I want to hit down on the ball. Unlike the greenside bunker where you want to take some sand to get the ball in the air, you want to keep it down now. Basically drive it, drive it to the green low and hard with a little left to right spin. So I'm going to play the ball back in my stance. I'm going to open my stance up to the left, which allows me to get down through it from behind with the ball farther back. A lot shorter swing with the weight on my left side. And I'm going to hit a shot left to right in there about 120 or so. So three quick things to remember about this shot. Ball back in the stance, your feet a little open, take one more club, weight on your left side. That's four things, I guess, but you can figure that out. Hit down on the shot, short swing. Good luck. I'll see you on the golf course. Get instruction, equipment advice, and travel highlights at hitgolf.com.